Damn, son! What do we have here? What do we have here? I'm probably gonna have you park in the front because we have to pull it out and then pull it back in. All right. All right, so on today's episode of Initial D, we got uh, these nuts. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, All right, what we got going on today? Okay, so this is my 85 piece of shit, and um, got to put the headers on. Uh, so get some head. A bunch of belts and gaskets and you know an exhaust and all that other good shit. The stuff to make it go sideways, and then we'll put the cup in with <laughs> the water and. This thing's going in a straight line, brother. All right. Oh, with the fatties on. You got the fatties. <laughs> Hey, bro, I'm like, nah, these, these things are clean, though. You know, I'm a little OEM plus type beat, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a slidey boy, you know what I'm saying? I like reliability. I like to be able to drive my cars whenever I want. I did daily this thing for a while when it was running. But yeah, today's vlog is going to be a little bit of 86 action. Uh, let me see, maybe take a ride in the bus later, go get some boba <laughs> or something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, ooh, foggy. Got the Mark III outside. Thing is minty. All right, so for any, for any, for any, for any of my 86 boys, if there's any out there, I know a couple of you have to, a couple of you might want one, uh, just for future reference. So when you're putting on the belt and you're putting on the alternator belt, there is two bolts, one on the top of the alternator, right where my finger is, and then one at the bottom. The bottom one is just a positioning bolt, basically tightening it up and keeping it where it's at. This top one is a slider bolt. So you would loosen that a little bit and actually push the alternator forward, bringing uh, the alternator forward, which would give you more slack on the belt. You put the belt around everything, pull the alternator tight and back, and then that's when you tighten that bolt um, right where it's at. Basically keeps the belt tight. That goes for a lot of cars as well. I believe my Skyline was like that and a couple other cars I've worked on. When it comes to the power steering belt, what you're gonna wanna do is loosen the front of the tensioner just a little bit. Uh, right where my finger is, there's actually a nut that you loosen. Uh, it's actually a through bolt, I'm sorry. And then from the bottom, you can see right there, um, there is a head. Basically that is a through bolt as well that the tensioner is on. As you loosen that, it actually brings the tensioner up letting off slack on where the belt would be. Uh, so we loosened that quite a bit. We were able to pull the tensioner up towards the hood area where the hood would be, um, put the belt underneath it, and then came back underneath here, tightened that bolt, and then, uh, which pulled the tensioner down, making tension on the belt. So now both belts are on and secure. Both are tight, both have minimum play but are tight enough to where they won't slip off and now it's time to do an oil change and uh a few other things clean the johnny up a little bit you know what i'm saying damn are you gonna spill the beans with no coverage down here oh, i just want to crack it loose brother i gotta get a test drive in before i buy the car okay okay how, how much you want to bet i ain't gonna get no oil on my hand all right let's see Mm. Mm. Oh, we got a Damn, winner. bro, how dark is that? It's pretty thick. It's That's fucking 10 W40. 10 <laughs> oh. yeah, we got a little thick boy on our hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little black of the berry, the sweeter to do this, you know what I mean? We got the slippy hands right now, brother. Huh? <laughs> I got this. You're capping. Am I fucking up? 
Bro, you just gotta give it the beans. I heard something. Man, don't call me Thor for nothing, bro. Why do they call you Dor? I just forgot. Pull off your vision and you just look through the camera. I'm looking through a black screen, looking at a black oil filter. Good job, brother. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. There it is. It's okay. We just clean the underside too. I mean, it's like spotless down there. I need to add Jimmy Oaks on this because he's the no poor master, poor master. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Nope. Yeah, add him, bro, because I fucked up. <sighs> All right, big dog got the headers on. Everything should be tightened up. I was taking some dope cinematics, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. But, uh,. Yeah, I guess it's what open header startup. We'll take the exhaust off because he's giving it to his buddy. He's a little such a good friend. All change is done. Everything should be tight, cleaned up a little bit, and then uh what you doing? Let's see if she's crank. problem uh so the heat wrap that i got the company that i bought it from told me not to wet soak it or however you're supposed to soak it to put it on and i've never had it smoke the exhaust the headers have never smoked like that before and the only time it ever did is from the the one in the rear the rear port but now all of them are smoking so and it's on tight and we just put a new gasket on it yeah so i'm assuming that the heat wrap is a no-go which it looks good, don't get me wrong, it looks fucking good, but I'm uh, I'm dreading taking this thing off, or I might just cut it. Take a razor. If you're not gonna use it, just take a razor, That's I guess. what I'm thinking, I'll just take a razor and just cut straight through it because I don't wanna have to take all of it off and all that, ah, fuck no. Got it off jack stands just so we can close the garage. We're actually gonna be taking the bus to go get some boba. If you are I don't know, I guess if you know me from a while back, if you followed the Instagram a while back, or if you've went and watched one of the first, or the first uh, YouTube video on this channel, that you would know that I used to have a bus for actually quite a while. Uh, did a lot to it. I kind of wanted to start the channel on that, do a lot of air-cooled stuff, because I really used to be you know, strictly air-cooled, had a bug, had multiple buses. Uh, the Corvair at home, the 63 Corvair, is also air-cooled, but had that for a while. The boy Jalil also picked one up. He's had this one for quite a while. Actually, now my bus is long gone, but makes me miss mine quite a bit. If you are interested in buying the bus, he says it's not for sale, but um, if the right price comes, I know the boy will let the let the feels go. 
because then we'll be able to move on to some other other cool stuff um the man likes it all everything from porsche volkswagen nissan toyota 90s new stuff 60s 70s all that i do want to get another air cooled on the channel eventually um i know a couple people have mentioned that they'd like to see some euro stuff and i do have plans down the road but for right now focused on the importing focused on the bipu style big body type stuff i do want to do another build kind of like the ls but on a whole nother platform that really nobody touches in the united states um so stay tuned for that down the road but yeah figured i'd i just give a little backstory on the bus this thing makes me happy i opened it up to get a little cinematics and stuff and i'm like damn this the smell is familiar just everything about the bus is familiar you know kind of going back to the roots but we're gonna hop in this in a few go for a drive go get some boba come back take the exhaust off this which we have to cut off and then i know he has a full new exhaust that we're gonna end up putting on so i'll show you that in a bit figure out and make sure that the header wrap is the problem for that smoking and kind of tidies this stuff up so we'll see you guys in a little bit when we're uh driving in the bus Yo, let me see that that pedal stomp uh. yeah <laughs> got to <laughs> Oh, a little cold. No, it's been a while. The pea shooters? Bro, you cannot go wrong. Okay. Yes, sir. I showed him the pea shooters and had to open up the bay a little yeah, bit. Yeah, bro. The choke don't work, so I got to fucking manually choke it. Manually choke? We are back. The Sawzall kind of wasted some time going to get Boba. Sawzall was charging. Bus made it back, no problem. Just a little hydroplane here and there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, time to get this exhaust off on the 86. Got to cut it in pieces. And then throw on the new exhaust. I think Jalil's boy might still pick this up. We'll cut it somewhere where it could be welded pretty easily. But uh, let's get to chopping with two seconds of choppy chop. Back uh, muffler and part of the exhaust is off. Jalil's taking the last hanger off. And right here we have, what is this? Okay. 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 Let's check this out. Oh my loud. Oh wow. Wow. This is actually super sick. I've never actually had like a real exhaust. It's always kind of just been getting the exhaust done or chop it off. <laughs> Bro, that thing is dope. That rear muffler. Uh -huh. That thing looks sick. No, I have to have to treat myself. You know what I'm saying? She. Uh. All right. So in conclusion. The exhaust is not going to fit. He has stock headers and the stock test pipe. Uh, being that he has stock headers and the stock test pipe, it doesn't reach back long enough for 
that piece to reach the rear axle for it to connect to the end. So he's gonna order a test pipe, which is like 80 bucks or something. Hopefully get it pretty soon. Attach that to the stock headers, and then that will push it back in hopes that the exhaust will fit. We'll be able to get some sound clips, uh, you know, get the exhaust all mocked up as well as hangers because these hangers are a bit different than the uh, than the stock hangers in the actual vehicle. So um, we're gonna put the car on the ground and uh, probably wrap it up for this evening. And on that note, we will be ending the night. Uh, the 86 got the new belts on. We tried to get the exhaust on. Uh, clutch needs to be done because Jalil said that he was kind of giving it some RPMs and was moving. He has a clutch, but it's some race clutch. Uh, enjoyed the rides in the bus. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know there wasn't too, too much, but hey, if you got uh, if you got to throw these belts on and you're a little bit confused, hope this video helped. Hope it was somewhat entertaining. Uh, hope you guys like the cinematics and we will definitely be back to uh, get a review and stuff on this HKS exhaust. Uh, gotta give you your stuff, big dog. And I got my stuff. I don't know what that stuff is. Uh, we'll do some stuff with the bus. Maybe a little walk around deep. Uh, into that little little detail cinematics cool pics and all that and we got the skinless stickers yo follow on the instagram skinless hit the homie up if you want to buy some stickers no oz sticker in stock right now so go pick up a skinless sticker throw it on the whip ski y'all saw it y'all saw it, a little love letter right there you know what I'm on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to be the end. Cars are in the garage. It is about 11 o'clock, work in the morning, and both of us are tired, so stay tuned for the next vlog. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you're new here, drop a thumbs up. It helps more than you know. Subscribe, stay tuned, put that notification bell on so you can get notified every time we drop a video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Later.